Hey Gemini, it's Ia Patsy here with your love bite for the time period of mid-March 2018 through mid-April 2018. So, um, this reading is going to be 10 of the uh, Romance Angel Oracle cards. Then we'll get some cards from the um, uh, Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue also. And uh, some cards from the Conscious Spirit Oracles by Kim Dwyer and a card from the uh, journey of love by alana uh, fairchild rasuli and richard cohen so hope everybody's been having a nice winter transitioning into spring all right and you enjoyed your uh, saint patrick's day for those of you who celebrate that so let's get started with this reading for you gemini first card here is Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. The next card that came in this reading for you was separation. Time apart, time away from your partner is on the horizon. Next, calling in a soulmate. Your prayers, visualizations, and affirmations help bring you together. Next card. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so those are your first five cards, Gemini. So... Uh, could be saying that you may be in separation from the soulmate that you're trying to uh, reach or that you know that there's someone around you that is your soulmate you feel that this could be the one and you know that your life is headed in a different direction. Because you've been open-minded. You've been open-minded and you've been obedient to spirit. You have been accepting the messages that you've been getting. And you accept the fact that right now you and this person that you're interested in, this person who you think is your soulmate, are in separation, and I think that you're all right with that. But I think that you have been manifesting this situation, that you have been sending messages and calling this person towards you, all right? And spirits agreeing, this could be the one. And this relationship is ascending. All right, so maybe you all are communicating more. All right, so maybe your communications aren't uh, person to person. Maybe you're on the internet or on the telephone or writing letters or text messages. But you are open to this and you're accepting of the separation at this time because you know that you manifested this. Maybe you didn't mean for it to happen at this time or this way with the person that you wouldn't be able to um, contact. But your prayers have been answered. The person that you have called in or whoever is there helping you that you're aware of, this is the person that you manifested. Next five cards are either for your partner or for you, things that you need to know about your love life right now, um, or things that they're feeling in regards to you in this situation. First card, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That fell directly under your keep and open mind in the upright, so I guess that you all have been engaging in heart-to-heart -heart conversations and you are keeping an open mind 
both of you could be keeping an open mind. Next card, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This fell between under your card that said separation. Okay, so your partner is feeling the connection also, even though you all are separated. Next card, give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. Fell directly under calling in your soulmate. Next card you got here, Gemini, was chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That fell under this could be the one. Last card you got here, Gemini, is you deserve love. That fell directly under engagement. So, you and your partner seem to be on the same page here, Gemini. But that's good because we already know that you, you've already graduated. You're kind of ahead of the rest of the class, right? The rest of us are trying to catch up with you, Gemini. Right? So this is your reward, this, this soulmate relationship that you manifested, that you called towards yourself. And it looks like it's a true love. You've been doing the work, talking, releasing, giving yourself a chance, giving the relationship the chance, accepting the fact that you are lovable and you deserve love, regardless of how you've been made to feel in the past. And this is good. So, very good, Gemini. Congratulations, you are just doing your thing. So, hopefully you're being grateful, all right? Make sure that you're thanking your ancestors, but I'm sure that you are because you got this, right, Gemini? You know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. This is a twin flame journey, and Gemini is sign of the twins, right? So, why wouldn't you be on top of your game with this? Very good. Very, very good. Very good, Gemini. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get some messages from the Conscious Spirit Oracle for you in regards to this situation. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the time period between March, mid-March 2018 to mid-April 2018. Okay, hold up. All right, Spirit said, let's do the mermaid and dolphin. This is also, Okay. <laughs> All right, so the card, first card that flew out for you was friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. Okay, so you need some time to, to make a date. Yeah, maybe you're going to go on a double date, a group date with uh, your friend, with your partner. Could also be saying that this relationship started as a friendship and it may have the next card here is have faith your prayers are manifesting remain positive and follow your guidance see Gemini as I said you manifested this and you continue to have faith you called this relationship into existence you did you've been you tapped into your to to your spirit and you follow the instructions <laughs> and you have turned this friendship into a romance wow oh that's the, that's the spirit told me to say you turn you turn this friendship into a romance now can we get a message from the conscious spirit oracle thank you April. <laughs> i guess they wanted it to be clear that you definitely manifested this you tapped into that power, your power source, and you got what you wanted. You manifested what you wanted. Beautiful. Okay. Now, can we get a card from the Conscious Spirit Oracle for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Can we get a love bite? Some advice, confirmation, direction. <laughs> oh no, that it was a whole bunch of cards that just you know, they know they need to jump if they hmm. okay, thank you.
30, reach for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. All right, Gemini. <laughs> so be it, right? Absolutely, that's what you've done, it seems. Okay, so now let's see if we can get a card for you from the Journey of Love deck and uh, see what other messages we have for you, for your love bite. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome to our little community. And uh, if you would like a personalized reading, send an email to pbtarot7 at gmail.com. Also, if you have instant go, I-N-S-T-A-N-T-G-O, uh, instant go app, you can uh, look for PB Tarot 7 and uh, you can ask me a question. One question, text message, and I'll text you back an answer. All right, I'll put the uh, link to that in the description of this video eventually. <laughs> Sometime during the night when I'm doing that kind of stuff. The card that came up for you here is Shakti, number 19. And this is about an individual. This is about you. Because 9 plus 1 is 10. And 10 reduces to 1. So Shakti. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so let's see what the message is for you. Shakti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shakti is a divine feminine fire. She is the body awakened with light. She is the divine feminine and she is the Kundalini. The energetic force, the energetic force that moves through us, triggered by love that leads to enlightenment of our body. With our Kundalini coming alive within us, we cannot remain as we once were. It is impossible. We may try to lead the same lives, and be the same in our relationship patterns, and perhaps even behave properly, but it simply cannot be done. Soon our disguise slips and people wonder, what happened to her? What's gotten into him? We are on fire with the divine and we cannot help but misbehave. We are no longer satisfied with trying to be the good child or fearing that we are the bad child. We know ourselves instead to be the divine child. The divine child lives fully and with passionate fire, not doing things the way they're supposed to be done perhaps, but living instead from the heart. Our body may ache as we burn through old pain, and sometimes the light within may seem so bright it blinds us for the moment. But that will pass. <laughs> and the misbehaving, I'm laughing because I read this uh, when I first got this deck. It came up, I think, for Aquarius, I believe. I'm not sure, but I just think it was so cute. And it was like, hey, it is what it is, right? So let's finish that. I'm sorry. Our body may ache as we burn through old pain. And sometimes the light within may seem so bright it blinds us for the moment. But that will pass. And the misbehaving will suddenly be seen for what it is. The old rules just don't apply anymore. They just don't fit anymore. You don't plug a globe capable of illuminating the whole world into the bedside reading lamp without burning down the house. Mm. <laughs> Best to let that light shine as it's meant to in the big arena. Shakti is making your light grow, beloved. Be prepared to shine brighter. Mm. The oracle brings you a message. You're going through energetic shifts in your subtle anatomy. Because your energy 
body and physical body have already begun to merge with each other, the energetic shifts will affect your physical body too. It's always wise to consult a physician, a healthcare practitioner, but at least some of your physical challenges at the moment from aches and pains and tiredness are due to this energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel is necessary, such as tending to your physical well-being with health care that feels supportive. But always remember to rest, get some time in nature, and nurture your body as it is spiritually awakening into a greater light. And there's a poem that goes with this. I have watched you hurting and felt helpless to make life better for you. Loving you is having to make choices to let you be who you are, who you become, and all the who's yet to come. To love you is to ride the waves of your passionate embrace for life, ever mindful of the change in the wind and the occasional tempest brewing. I say, it's been a shakeup. <laughs> Loving you is having to make choices, knowing it isn't my fault. I can still choose to take it personally or just be while I listen and watch you unfold. Your heart is a beauty I will always love. It's the part of you that hasn't changed much over time. When I lie beside you and I hear you breathe, when I touch your skin or caress your hair, you are timeless and I choose loving you. That's sweet. That's sweet and that's sensual. And that's to me, that sounds like a friendship that has grown, or a relationship, a romance that has grown, and it has become more than sexual energy, and it has become more than friendship. It has become a spiritual give and take between you and this partner, and that they're cheering you on and you're cheering them on and supporting one another and being there to hold each other's hand when as you grow and as these things happen not everything's going to be pleasant you know digging deep takes a lot out of a person and so you have been blessed to have somebody there who is there for you and they are grateful to have the privilege of, of seeing you blossom. Both of you are feeling this about when, like this is like a, a privilege that you've been given to see this change in this person who you love and respect and who you feel so protective of and you love so. Your friend growing while you're growing. Now you may grow apart, but right now this is for the two of you to help each other. Maybe you both had a crisis and you helped her or him on one hand and they have helped you on the other. So this is support. This is a yin and a yang, give and take. But it's all working towards the higher good of both of you. So that's wonderful. Excellent. Okay, Gemini, we're going to see if we can get one more card from me from the numerology deck deck uh, for you hmm? yeah let's do that a numerology deck and that is by Michelle Buchanan and they were already shuffled and saged and everything I just put them in the boxes to keep some kind of order here because this desk is crowded <laughs> with stuff but it's coming together. I'm starting to get a little more organized and I got a more comfortable chair down here so maybe I'll be able to hang through it a little longer. Okay. Let's 
trap neck. Well, you got two cards here. First one, 14, moderation. Moderation, one and four is five. Five talks about creativity. 14, moderation. Let's see what moderation's message is for you today. This card indicates a need to exercise restraint and self-control in every area of your life. Perhaps there's too much overeating, drinking, too much alcohol, smoking, over medicating, taking drugs, overspending, exercising excessively, consuming too much sugar or coffee, gambling or otherwise overindulging or engaging in abusive or aggressive behavior. If so, this card serves as a gentle and loving reminder that behaviors such as these can delay the manifestation of your dreams. So don't be getting all happy there, Gemini. You still got work to do and you need to take care of your body, okay? You need to take care of yourself. You got a lot more people depending on you these days, okay? The divine, your partner, humanity. You got a mission. You can't be messing around with drugs and getting into all kind of, you know, things that you shouldn't be getting into. This card is also, this card also indicates a need to balance your desire for freedom and adventure with your responsibilities because by honoring your commitments, you will prevent the buildup of karmic debt. By choosing to live as your higher self, rather than giving in to your lower tendencies, you align with source and the intentions of your soul. Everybody has a shadow side that needs to be acknowledged and embraced and loved. But when you learn to rise above it, you can make your dreams come true. So I think it's safe for you to show some restraint in some areas, but Pray about it and look for that guidance. So far, you've done very well following your intuition and the spiritual guidance that you have been receiving. And the second card that you got from the numerology deck was completion, number nine. Now. We know that you all know this already. They just wanted to remind you. <laughs> this card indicates a time of necessary endings and the completion and preparation for new beginnings. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to let go of the old way to make way for the new. This may relate to a particular mindset, behavior, friendship, job, residence, or relationship that you have outgrown. Or it could indicate the completion of a karmic lesson a period of study, or a contractual obligation. Either way, this card serves as a confirmation that you must move forward with confidence and courage towards bigger and better things. Have no fear of the unknown, for you are being divinely accompanied and guided. The card serves as a confirmation that you are definitely on the right path, so surrender yourself to the changes that you are, that are occurring and you'll be led to where you need to be. Spend quiet time alone to connect with your inner guide. And for in the silence, you'll be given the next logical step to take. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you towards a time of endings and completions. So let go of what no longer serves you Spread your wings and trust in the divine to show you the way. An affirmation here is, it is safe to surrender to the magical future that awaits me. It's safe to surrender to the magical future that awaits me. All right, Gemini. Very nice. So, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you so much for... Um, sharing, liking, subscribing, and I look forward to um, bringing messages to you again next month. The uh, Akashic General readings are up for 
this cycle along with these readings that um, I'm trying to go through now. So thank you very much. As soon as I get them posted, they'll be up. And uh, don't forget to like and to comment and to share. Thank you so much, Gemini, for joining me. And I'll be talking to you soon. Enjoy the rest of your winter. We're getting ready for spring in a few days. Thank you. Ashe.